Spider-Verse was easily my most anticipated animated film. Well, that and Ninja Turtles. But my most anticipated live-action film is Barbie. When this thing was first announced and the trailers first hit, I instantly got hooked in and was interested in seeing it for two reasons. First, because the premise made it look really funny, and the writers of this movie are the same ones behind Madagascar 3, which is just the funniest DreamWorks movie ever, please don't come at me for saying that. And second, because the cast was filled with people we knew and enjoyed in their respective other movies. I mean, Harley Quinn as Barbie? Shang-Chi? Will Ferrell? Michael Sarah? I know they probably cast these people because of popularity and all that, but it's still really cool, and the movie made it look like it was going to be really good, both on the humor and character sides. And yep, it pretty much lived up to the hype. This movie is so great. Okay, let me start off with the easiest compliment to give, the comedy. This is the most fun I've had with a movie and the most I have laughed at a movie all year so far. Not even Super Mario or Madagascar 3, which I mentioned earlier, topped this in terms of being hilarious. Plus, most of the jokes that they came up with were really strong and I laughed at numerous occasions. Spoilers if you haven't seen the movie yet, but there was a scene where all the Kens were in this man battle and I just burst out into a pit of laughter. That's how funny this movie was. Maybe some of it could have been toned down, but we'll get to that later. Another thing I liked about this movie was its emotional moments, which is something I wasn't expecting. I figured it would just be a full-on comedy, but no, I was pleasantly surprised as they put in some heart. Who really makes this movie is... take a wild guess. I like some moments with her and Ryan Gosling Ken, but her character arc is really heartfelt. I got invested in her journey as she was trying to find out who she was. It's familiar, but I don't know, it was sweet watching her figure out that the world isn't perfect. Oh yeah, and then there's the feminine side of the story, which, uh, isn't handled subtly at all. No, definitely not. You might think it's wolf crap, but it makes sense because everyone in Barbie land is really stupid. I'm not gonna say exactly how it's handled in the movie because I'm pretty sure some people in the comments are gonna get mad at me if I get something wrong. But I will say, there actually is a scene later on with America Ferreira's character. There's a quote that she says that pretty famously sums up how messed up this society is in terms of gender representation. Yeah, that's all I'll say. I, 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 I really don't want I really don't want to get into it right now because I'm sure there's a lot of people here that's gonna get mad if I get something incorrect. So I'll let you judge that side of the story for yourself, and I will go into some of the issues I have with the movie. Like I said, the humor is good for the most part, but there's some areas where it's trying a little too hard to be goofy and childish, especially when it's time for an emotional moment. Like, it's kind of hard to feel for said moments when you're probably still laughing at a pretty funny joke. You could argue that's how Madagascar 3 is, but the tones of both of these movies are very different and are supposed to be directly compared. Also, Madagascar is comedy 24-7, so yeah, they're not the same. I also think that while the story remains focused a lot of the time, there is definitely way too many characters. Some that don't add much to the plot and kind of exist as a joke. I don't even think Kate McKinnon's character was given much to do either, which was a bit of a shame. But you know what? I don't care. I didn't go into this movie expecting perfection. I just went in to have fun, and that's all I really wanted with Barbie. Despite some flaws, it has instantly become one of my favorite movies this year. I think it's great and well worth checking out. 8 out of 10, an absolute blast of a time. Definitely one of the best movies this year so far. Oh yeah, and uh, also Oppenheimer. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't really go that into Oppenheimer in this video. I was more invested in Barbie because like I had more fun with that. But yeah, Oppenheimer's really good too. Uh, I recommend you check that movie out as well. Uh, check both of these movies out as a matter of fact if you have the time. Uh, for the love of God, please do not compare these movies or even Madagascar 3 with each other because again, they are not the same.